friends, welcome to Motorcycle.com. With me, I have my friend Christina. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> As you can see up there, we are at Kawasaki HQ. In case you didn't know, Kawasaki has a motorcycle called the Vulcan S, powered by a 650 twin that you can see in the Ninja 650 and the Versus and other bikes. What we thought we would do is we'd have Christina here ride the bike because nobody really wants to see me on a bike anymore. But what we brought you here for, Christina, is because the Vulcan S is the first of the Kawasaki line with what they call the ErgoFit system. Now, the ErgoFit system is a system that comes down from the dealership level for the customer to have the bike suited to their body type, whether they're tall, average sized, or short. And so we're going to do, Christina, we're going to go inside Kawasaki. We're going to have our friends there tell us more about the system, get you fitted for the Vulcan S, and then you're going to ride off and we'll talk to you later after you put some miles on the bike. Sounds awesome. And see what you think. So before we get started, what do you know about the Vulcan S? A quick Google uh, about the ErgoFit showed that it's really adjustable, especially for shorter people. And so I'm excited to get to see just how comfortable it could be for somebody that's my size. I'm 5'3". Normally getting on bikes, especially, you know, bigger displacement, they could tend to be a little bit taller, but I'm excited to see how this one actually fits me. Normally bikes aren't made with 5'3 yeah. folks in mind. So why don't you get into a quick summary of your riding experience? So my background, I started on the street. Uh, about three months later, I got into racing mini bikes and I did that for about five years. I also have a dirt bike. We spend a lot of time doing that. So from your experience, what has it been like trying to fit on a motorcycle? Because as far as I know, you don't get this option of having a motorcycle tailored to you at the dealership level. Yeah, usually there are some concessions being made uh, in terms of sizing for the bike. like. A lot of times I'm on my tiptoes or sometimes I just end up leaning forward more than is ideal for my comfort um, so it's been it's just sort of you just roll with it you don't have a choice like once you buy the bike you can modify it all you want and usually I do but um, to start off with it's kind of up in the air like mm. is this something that I'm gonna be happy with in the long run do I know if I'm gonna be comfortable on it let's hop inside let's get you fitted and uh... See you right away on it. Sounds good. Let's do it. You're going to be sitting on this Vulcan S in the mid reach, which is the standard um, position. So if you want to put your feet on the pegs, your arms yeah, are pretty much stretched. extended. Yeah, and it doesn't give you really any wiggle room or any bend in your elbows, as well as you know your knees are kind of they're pretty. Your feet are pretty out. Um, they're not fully extended, but you know sometimes you want a little bit more. Um, bend in your knee. What I would probably recommend for you is the reduced reach. It would be a different handlebar, a different seat, and a different foot peg position. So if you want to step up the motorcycle, and I will go ahead and change out this seat. Take the reduced reach. So this is the full reduced reach configuration. Oh, that's way different. Um, yeah, it's very different. So the seat, I believe, brings you forward, uh, is it two inches? And the foot pegs um, bring them closer to you about an inch, as well as the handlebars are closer like to you. Look how much my elbows are bent now. Yeah. Versus. So you have, you have more one. control with that, and then it kind of pushes you a little bit closer onto the the center of the motorcycle, which also gives you a little bit more control. Yeah, this feels a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> it makes a huge difference. It's three different peg placements, three different seats, two different handlebars. You've ridden the bike. By now, you've had the bike for how many months? Three months. Three months. First, just tell me your overall thoughts about, uh, one, let's start with the ErgoFit system before we get to the actual motorcycle. What did you think about being able to have the bars, the seat and the pegs move to your liking right from what would have been the dealership floor? 
it's pretty awesome. I had sat on the stock position first to get a feel for how everything kind of sat with me. And really, it was a stretch to get to everything. Mm. It was a stretch for the bars. My feet were straight out. So getting to switch everything and make it all just a little bit within my reach was a lot more comfortable for sure. So the original setup we had you on was the short setting where the bars are longer so it's a shorter reach for you, the pegs are closer to you, and the seat is more compact to put you closer to everything as well. You rode for I think a day you said like that. That one happened. Yeah, I, I knew on the way home from Kawasaki that I needed to switch the seat. I just couldn't get back there <laughs> until the next day. So I went back and swapped out the seat for the mid position seat, which gave me a little bit of room to wiggle around and switch positions and get comfortable on the bike uh, and wasn't just forced into the tank. And that was perfect after perfect. that? Perfect, that's the, the just right Goldilocks formula for me. All right, cool. Let's move on to the bike. You've had it for three months, you said, you've put some miles on it. What do you think? I like it a lot. I'm not much of a cruiser person, as you know. And I know that. <laughs> so this was a, a, a far reach from my comfort zone, uh, but I have really enjoyed it. I love the seating position. I strangely enjoy having my feet out in front of me. Um, <laughs> and I really, really like being able to touch the ground. That's something most of my bikes, I'm, I'm tiptoed at best have to get off it to move it around. And you ride dirt bikes. And I ride dirt bikes, so I'm used to hanging off the bike and that's, I'm totally comfortable doing it, but being able to park anywhere I want is something that you just don't even realize you're annoyed with until you don't have to do it. <laughs> so this has been pretty great. I've been, definitely enjoyed my time with it. It handles really well and not exceptionally light, but when you're on it and moving it around, it feels super light. The center of gravity is very low to the ground. The saddle is extremely narrow. So even if you're a lot shorter than me or have a very short inseam, it's very easy to touch the ground and very easy to move around. The power delivery isn't anything abrupt or scary, I think. And, and the best part is that while it is a great size bike for a new rider, it's not something you're gonna wanna sell in a year or two because it's got plenty of power to keep up with any of the other bikes that you're gonna be riding with. I think that the clutch pull is very easy. Uh, the reach to the levers is adjustable too, which is nice. It's a little bit clunky to get to the turn signal button. Uh, you have to kind of take your hands off the, off the bar and move it to be able to boop the turn signal button. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the controls are great. I love the display is very simple and it just gives you the information that you need and also great for a new rider is that it has a gear indicator that's awesome yeah for, even for experienced riders yeah i, I still want to know it. yeah i still want to know where the hell i'm gear i'm in yeah it's a pretty self-explanatory motorcycle we've talked about this bike before the engine's great that 650 twin that makes enough power to keep you entertained but not too much to scare the crap out of you you know transmission works fine brakes work fine but there was an area you told me before that you personally found less than optimal. What is that? Well, I think that it would be a great addition to the ErgoFit package if they could set up the suspension for the rider's weight. I think that the bike is a little bit heavily sprung for somebody my size. I get bounced around quite a bit on freeways and really any bumpy road is not, not very comfortable. Well, what about roads like this though that are smooth and twisty and the handling is great yeah um, and for being a cruiser it actually has really great cornering clearance so even on the really tight technical stuff you're not dragging the pegs around every corner so you can carry a decent amount of speed through the canyon but to be honest I doubt someone looking at a bike like this is going to be riding twisty roads they're probably more just gonna be cruising around in which case your point about the suspension maybe is even more important right yeah, well, if you're driving around Los Angeles, our roads are notoriously terrible. And not being able to stand up on the pegs to go over a pothole or a bump on the freeway makes it a little bit rougher. But I think there's a little bit of adjustment that you can do with the rear shock as it is. Just preload. So, well, your, your if it were my smooth. bike, that's a modification I would make. <laughs> Which is easy enough to do, right? Yeah. Otherwise? I'd, yeah, I'd upgrade the brake lines, I'd fix the suspension. And other than that, the bike functions perfectly. You just go ride. You just go ride.
Perfect. Hit the canyons or go down the street or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever it is you like to do. <laughs> it would make a good road trip bike too, I think. Except there's no cruise control. <laughs> yeah, so I think Kawasaki makes bags that you can strap to the back mm -hmm. and they've got a bunch of accessories for it. I think they even have a passenger seat. So Christina, earlier you mentioned you've ridden dirt bikes, you did some mini moto racing. It's fair to say the cruiser category necessarily is not your cup of tea, right? I don't know if I'd buy one myself. What did you think of the Vulcan? I liked it a lot. Yeah? Yeah, I have really enjoyed my time with it. I parked my other bikes for the three months that I've had this and I've only ridden the Vulcan. Um, so I have really enjoyed my time getting to go to the canyons. I went down to Cook's Corner. We did Malibu coming up here. Um, I'm really happy on the twisty roads. This bike handles great. Um, it really surprised me for being a cruiser. I was expecting it to just be awkward to turn and you're not scraping the pegs around every corner. I can, I fit very comfortably on the bike. The seat is awesome. Um, my knees aren't screaming by the end of the day. <laughs> so well, I, I know when I called you to say, do you want to ride a bike? And you said, yeah, sure. What bike? I said Vulcan S and you Googled it. You were a little apprehensive on the phone. A little skeptical. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've been pleasantly surprised. Very cool. And for under eight grand, not a bad deal. Yeah, with ABS and it's nicely finished. There's not a whole lot aesthetically you'd even want to change. It's a rabbit hole, but. <laughs> I mean, being a Kawasaki, you just put gas in it and change the oil every now and again. It's going to last forever too, right? Yeah. Christina, thanks for indulging us and riding the bike for us, letting us really know how it is. I mean, it's really cool to get your opinion on it because uh, I know you ride a lot of stuff, which is why I wanted your opinion on this anyway. Um, good news for you viewers as well. Christina's also going to do a written review, right? Yeah. Very cool. So anything she forgot to mention on camera, hopefully you'll remember it for the uh, written part. So be sure to go to motorcycle.com, read Christina's full review there, and as always, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.